Hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to the third episode of Alien Way Dog Base Stories. I made it! I finally finished sculpting the last 19 doll heads. That means all 50 doll faces are now available on my store www.ilamoy.starnv.com and on my store you will see that my doll faces are available as various types of different chokers and long and short necklaces and I would highly suggest you guys to watch this video till the end because at the end of the video I will do a mini accessory lookbook and yeah, I will basically show you guys how I personally would style them and maybe you will get some good inspiration out of it. So yeah, anyway, let's start sculpting and painting. Thank you again so much for your suggestions on my last doll face video. Your ideas are always so interesting, so I try to carry out some of your doll face ideas in this video too. So for the first doll I wanted to make a face which has some Asian features like upward slanting eyes, but the eyes would not be dark brown but blue because I think blue eyes on Asian girls look very interesting. She finally made me realize. a few people who suggested to me to make an insect inspired doll face or a doll face with a spider on the head and I actually had this idea for a long time but the problem was I didn't know how to sculpt spiders. This is actually my second attempt at sculpting a spider and I think it turned out okay but I definitely have to improve more. Someone suggested to me to make baby doll heads with pacifiers and I love that idea so much so I made an innocent looking doll face with a pastel colored pacifier. <laughs> Look at her, she looks so freaking cute. <laughs> Someone suggested to me to make a doll face with a creepy mouth showing a lot of sharp teeth and another one suggested to me to make clown faces. So I combined these ideas and made creepy smiling clown faces. I know. She finally made me realize. Oh, <laughs> 
To make this one look extra disturbing, I left the eyes white. Someone suggested to me to make a doll face with a bird beak and I tried to do that and I thought I failed because it just looked so unrealistic but as I was painting it I kind of started liking its cartoonish look so yeah I'm glad that I didn't throw this one away because I was actually seriously thinking about it. from the interweb says sad pouty girls are always cute I don't know if this was a suggestion or just a statement either way I liked the idea so I made a sad little baby doll with glitter freckles on her cheeks A few people wanted me to make a Gishi inspired doll face so I attempted to do that. So since I didn't use any reference pictures for the Gishi makeup it's probably very inaccurate so let's just say it's a fantasy Gishi doll head. <laughs> Someone suggested to me to make a doll face with freckles and this time I wanted the freckles to look as natural as possible so I used my thinnest brush to draw them on and I really like how they turned out. They look really natural to me and I kind of wish I could do my freckles this way too because every time I try to do them with my makeup brush they end up looking messy and fake so yeah I, I really wish I had real freckles. I love them. I really liked her Cyclops idea so I actually made three Cyclops doll faces and all three Cyclops faces have resin eyes in them which makes them super special because they are the first faces who have that. Some people suggested to me to make a doll with multiple eyes and I'm obsessed with human faces that have abnormal features so of course I love that idea and I had to make it. I don't. She finally made me realize 
I know She finally made me realize Since some people seem to like the flower doll faces I made in my last episode, I decided to make another one. I really like this idea which these two people have suggested to me and I definitely want to make more doll faces which have plants growing out of the face. What I love about this is that you can carry out this idea in two completely different ways. You could do it in a very gory, grotesque way which I'm doing right now. As you can see this doll face has a tree branch growing out of her eye and there is fresh blood coming out of her eye socket and her pupil of her other eye is messed up which makes her look kind of dead so yeah or you could do it in a very romantic beautiful way like a doll face with flowers growing out of her mouth or vines growing out of her ears so yeah i i really like this idea and a lot of my drawings actually feature this concept too So I felt like I made very few normal faces, so I made a basic looking face and added some gold flakes to her cheeks. She finally made me realize. I don't know what this is, I think it's a monster tongue, but it could also be two snakes that she's trying to eat. I don't know. What do you think? After the paint dried, I put some varnish on my faces and voila! They are finished! 
Oh gosh, I'm actually I'm so happy with how all the faces turned out. I'm not gonna lie. So, as I mentioned in the beginning, all 50 doll faces I made in the three episodes are now available on my store. The link will be in the description below. You can buy them as long or short necklaces and as chokers. Every doll face will have a number, so you just have to put your desired face charm number in the little notebooks at checkout. And if a number is already crossed out, it's not available anymore. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. If you have any more questions, feel free to email me, all my links are in the description below. So now I will do a mini accessory lookbook for you guys and I will show you how I would combine these chokers with different outfits. So yeah, let's start! Thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video please like comment or subscribe that would mean a lot to me and yeah i will see you guys next week Emotional.